If you've ever considered doing Airbnb rentals in the Cleveland market, you have come to the right place. We help investors from all over the world do Cleveland Airbnb completely passive, right? And if you've heard things about the Cleveland market, like there's just a bunch of low-income stuff, it's true we do have a lot of low-income properties, but there's also a lot of high-end properties that make perfect luxury rentals, and that's what we're talking about today. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James, and today I'm working with an investor from Florida. He decided he wants to invest in Airbnb rentals in the Cleveland market using Holton Wise to make everything passive. Jose, brother, I got a solid one on a friggin' golf course for you today, dog. Talk about luxury living, man. This thing is banging. We're going to go through all the numbers. I think you're really going to dig this one. And the best thing is... There ain't no way you get a property this nice on a golf course in Florida for the price this thing is. Let's jump into the numbers right after this. Two, please. Welcome back. Let's pull up the numbers because if the numbers don't make sense, the property deal doesn't work. Sure, it's nice. It's beautiful, right? They got this bad boy listed at 469 and it's a friggin' beautiful house, right? Look at that two-story walkway. This thing is ju is just beautiful, really. I mean, look at this kitchen. It's, it's super duper nice, man. I, I really like everything about it. But remember, this is going to be an Airbnb investment. We're not going to live there, so let's not fall in love uh, based off of just the pictures alone, right? We're going to be going over the numbers, but let's just finish cruising through all these pictures, okay? Everything is beautiful, right? All we're going to need to do is furnish this thing, and I do believe our guests are going to love it. They're going to love it for how nice it is, number one. Number two, its location, right? Right there in Cleveland, we have no issues with the Cleveland government and our Airbnb rentals, which is quite nice, and you are right on this golf course. Now, this is part of an HOA, and it does have access to a swimming pool and tennis courts that could be good for your guests. Now, here's the thing with HOAs and doing rentals with HOAs. HOAs can sometimes have restrictions attached to them. According to the listing agent, there are no HOA restrictions here. But we're going to still do our due diligence. In real estate, we got to trust but verify. We're going to do our due diligence in ensure after I read and you read the entire bylaws, that that is the case, and it doesn't restrict leasing. Every once in a while, you'll find an HOA that will restrict leasing. They're saying no, but, you know, sometimes it happens where the listing agent, they're not 100% sure. They don't read through these. Sometimes these are, like, many pages, uh, and it takes some time to get them, right? Oftentimes, you get agents that will list the properties without having the bylaws because most of the time, most of the buyers that look at nice properties like this, they're people that are going to live there. So having a no leasing bylaw is not something that's on their brain, right? Us here at Holton Wise TV, that's all we're thinking about. So we're going to have to do an offer contingent on that. But this is going to be a banging deal, man. They're asking 469. I think we come in a little less. I think we come in at 450. As you saw, we don't have to repair anything. We just put in 25k worth of furniture. We'll be all in at 475. This being a 33, we're going to see $400 a night in our rents, right? Access to the pool, access to the golf course. You're right there in Cleveland. Great locale, man. So, it would show 148800 in annual Airbnb income if we operated it to where you rented it every day. But this is reality, folks. I don't sell 
you guys on fluff. You're not going to rent it every day. Definitely not at 400 bucks a night, right? We're probably going to rent it at about 60 to 62% of the time, right? So we got to factor in all those costs, plus my PM fees, the taxes, the insurance, the whole friggin' kit and caboodle, okay? Factor all that stuff in. You're looking at approximately $49,000 in profit, right? Now, at 475, you put down 1375 out of your pocket, right? That is going to equate to 112 as your down payment plus the 25k in furnishings, right? Obviously with a loan, you got to put down a down payment and of course we're not going to get a lender to loan you money to buy some furniture, right? So, that should project out to approximately a 24% cash on cash return or an 11 cap. My team will handle everything. Super strong demand right there in the heart of the city, very close to downtown, all that type of stuff, right on the golf course, man. This is like a newer development. You're going to see a lot of areas in Cleveland that are doing newer developments. This is one of those ones where they took the tax abatement uh, when the property was built. Uh, and, and you see that gentrification happening in Cleveland, right? So this is a good buy uh, for possibly some appreciation because these are the kind of neighborhoods that are going to appreciate the most in the Cleveland market. And, of course, the sucker is a friggin' cash cow. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.